Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm excited to be with you here today on, today on Training Tip Tuesday. Uh, the horse that I have behind me, this is Sydney. She is a five-year-old Arabian saddlebred cross uh, that came to me for some uh, some desensitizing and some on the trail training. And you know, we started from the beginning. Today's our second day. She's doing really well. We we're just doing lateral flexion. And um, by the way, I hope you had a wonderful wonderful Memorial Day. I hope you were able to, to celebrate the, the lives of those who've given everything for us so that we may be free. And I hope uh, you're able to contemplate that. I certainly was and, and we'll think about them throughout the rest of the year. And uh, today for Training Tip Tuesday, if you can see on Sydney here, she has a halter. She has a rope halter. And it does have two knots on the top of the rope halter, so there's extra knots here. Clinton Anderson, this is a Clinton Anderson halter I've had for a long time, and I still use it. It's very, very durable, great quality. If you if you need high high quality halters, certainly Clinton Anderson has them. They're a little on the more expensive side, but they they're high quality and they last, and they're certainly worth it. There are a lot of uh, good companies out there that provide such halters, and he's one of them. I don't necessarily recommend the two extra knots. Sometimes that can be problematic as the knot slips over the top and can actually rub on the top of the nose right here. So sometimes I actually, I'm, I'm leaning more and more towards just a regular rope halter without the extra knots. But who knows, one of these days I might change my mind and go back to the, the four knotted halter. But I, as you can see, I still use it even though I'm not, not necessarily recommending you, you have to get the four knots. Um, but it's not, it's not, it's not bad. It's, it, the, the point is that you, um, you can get extra pressure right here on the pressure points of the nose. Um, and, and that, that can be helpful with some horses that, that struggle with being resistant to pressure. And <clears throat> for training tip Tuesday, what I wanted to mention is that a lot of people will start training a horse. So they'll come to my clinics and I'll say, make sure to bring a rope halter and they'll come to my clinics with a mule tape halter or a flat nylon halter <clears throat> or even some kind of soft rope halter and those halters a soft rope halter is that more effective than the mule tape or a flat uh, nylon halter but what's important is that i i think that you should always use a rope halter in training because it just gives more pressure more direct pressure on the horse so that that horse feels that pressure learns to get off of that pressure and learns to get really really light if you use a nylon halter that's nice and flat, three quarters inch or an inch wide or even bigger than an inch wide, that pressure is dispersed over the horse's um, pole, for example, or nose. And when that pressure is dispersed, then the horse feels it less. So the, the horse can become very, very dull. And what happens is you end up having to put a lot more force from your body to try to get your horse to do something. And that not only causes, uh, it, it's ineffective in your training, but it also can cause injury. Like you, ha you might ha get an injury with your shoulder or elbow or wrist or hands or something because you're trying too hard to get pressure on your horse for your horse to do the right thing. So my training tip for today is make sure you get a rope halter. I, I recommend a quarter inch. They have some that are 3 16 inch and I think 3 16 usually is just a little too thin. Uh, a quarter inch halter like this, a quarter inch in di diameter, I feel like is the perfect width and make sure it's a nice stiff halter. You can almost, <laughs> you can almost hold that halter in your hand, uh, like set it in your hand and it almost sets up on, it, on its own because it's so stiff. You want a nice stiff halter and, and we'll talk about lead ropes in another uh, session, but make sure that your lead rope is heavy as well and it's weighted at both ends so that you have a nice, effective, and efficient uh, use of the, the halter and the lead rope when you're asking your horse to back up or to, to, um, to laterally flex or whatever it is you're asking your horse to do. You want a nice, nice solid quarter inch rope halter. Hope that helped for you guys today. Until next time, be thankful, live with purpose, live with passion, and as always, stay safe in the saddle.